Hello everyone and welcome back to Crazy Country Q Farmer and well look I'm back <laughs> and well you know we are it's Saturday and I'm going in and I'm going to get me a pet food deal and a lot of you have asked me about the pet food deals so I'm going in and I'm going to do this deal on the fly using what coupons I have in that app and I'm going to take you with me so you can get some idea of how you can do this save money on your pet food bill particularly right now alrighty if you are not a crazy friend or a subscriber take the moment right now become one hit the subscription button and that notification bell that way you don't miss any deals deals glitches free stuff awesome information okay hanging out with crazy friends awesome games field trips we got all that here Oh, and even some cooking. We even cook here. And well, occasionally we say a little prayer as well. So you want to be here. And uh, make sure you share this with your friends, of course. And everybody while we're here, please leave me an emoji or a thumbs up or both or and or comment. <laughs> YouTube likes to keep us in the algorithm, and that's how they do it. So please make a comment, leave an emoji, okay? Thumbs up. I mean, really, it helps the gal out. It helps the entire community out, and we love you for it. All right, like I said, we're going in the store, and I've got some cats to feed, my dog food. I haven't bought any, any in a couple of weeks, so it's getting a little on the low side. So I'm going to take advantage of one of the deals that we talked about, which was the Kibbles and Bits deal. Hopefully they have it in here. Okay? Really, hopefully. <laughs> so, come on in. Let's roll into the store, guys. Okay, we're here where we're supposed to be. And, uh, well, they did have some 20-pound bags of cat food. And that's what we're going to go for. <clears throat> Um, the nine lives is sixteen seventy for twenty pounds. Twenty-two pounds of the cake caboodle is seventeen dollars, and twenty pounds of cat complete perina is twenty-two dollars. So we're gonna go with the nine lives. Okay. And they have, of course, no kibbles and bits. So, what we're going to do, I actually have three. This is $16. I actually have three, or a coupon, for milk bone, 75 cent off. Okay? So, I'm going to pick up a milk bone. And then I'm going to use that $1.50 off of two to pick up, well, some more, <laughs> uh, because I am almost out of milk bones, so, and he really, really likes the milk bones, so we're going to pick up one that I want to get 75 cent off, and then we're going to pick up Three ninety-five for another, and we also have a new coupon for a dog snack, the good and fun, and I think it might be buy one get one. Mm, I'll have to look. Let me see if I can find that coupon. But in the meantime, I think we are going to go with. The soft and chewies are two eighty-five, but the pep pepperonis are two fifty. So I'm just going to go with the pepperonis. He likes those, and I can break them in half. So, so far in our budget, and we're not saving a whole lot from this transaction. Okay. 
we're just saving some because we're not saving a whole lot <laughs> and but we're I mean in this big scheme of things that's about all we can hope for when it comes to the pet food anymore these days is to save some so I've got the nine lives which is 16 um, 1670 and I need to scan it to make sure that uh, it is that price so 1617 18 19 20 21 22 23 20, we've got 25 dollars in our buggy right here okay but what we've got coming off is is going to be seven dollars off of a 25 dollar purchase okay not a whole lot in the scheme of things but the bottom line is I have to buy this stuff anyway so I might as well save some money while doing it and quite frankly <laughs> this week I'm on a really tight budget due to clearance sale of course and um, because of that I'm going to cut myself down to two transactions one will be cat food and the other will be my coat products so that's one going to be my only two transactions this week is my animal food and my coke products so normally between those two products I would spend 20 approximately $30 okay so my goal is to be able to get that for under $30 this week and I'll still be happy <laughs> alrighty I know I'm not going to have a whole lot of different stuff okay and that's the other thing I want to keep that to a minimum as well um, and with the Diet Coke I will probably use one of our mini food deals okay so to utilize to get a little extra savings so like I said right now we are looking at $25 and change but we also only have and we will have paying five okay guys after rethinking and looking and doing some different math like I said I'm kind of on a budget this is what I decided on for myself more bang for my buck okay instead of getting a bunch of snacks we do have that three dollar off of any bag of pedigree I'm getting the seven dollar and ten cent bag I'm getting three dollars off I'm still getting nothing off of my nine lives okay and I decided to go for the milk bone flavored snacks because like I said I am down to just what he has in his uh, little canister so we're going to get these because these are again more bang for your buck you get a pound uh, these are the small ones so these will work out well I usually get the small or the medium and I do not see any medium in the uh, variety flavor so we're going to do the small ones okay so just a little something different for him okay not as many items in the buggy but also not as expensive the other scenario with the snacks uh, would have been $25 out of pocket this one should be around $17 out of pocket and right now every penny is counting so if you're like me and every penny is counting you know when you get to the store sometimes you got to revamp and that's okay you know take them take the moment in your calculator and just revamp and suit your needs for that moment because we always have more of these coupons coming and if you've got more than one account then you've got some more to work with kind of like me and my milk bone okay guys deal number two my coke products are down there and uh, there will be fifteen dollars no coupon so I'm doing a Kellogg's deal as well we're going to pick up two of the townhouse crackers they're four dollars a piece that's eight 
a pop tart is nine ten. Um, ten seventy, I do believe it is, for the pop tart. And I'm getting a loaf of bread also. The loaf of bread will cover my instant savings. <coughs> it should be right on the money, or really close. And if I need it, I will be getting a piece of candy because I need that transaction to be twenty-eight dollars to cover the three dollars in instant savings that I'm going to be getting uh, on the townhouse crackers. So totally, total, I will be getting four dollars off of this transaction right here. Um, Three dollars in instant savings and a dollar off the townhouse crackers. So, are you paying six dollars for three of the products? Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, I think it's time for us to go up to the register and uh, well, see what I walk out of the store with if I got any money left. <laughs> And like I said, this is how you do it when you're on a budget. You may spend a little bit more time than normal in the store uh, making things work and redoing and redoing because I've actually redone a couple of times, you know? So, yeah. So let's go see what I did. And I wandered over here to some of the Christmas aisles and we got lots of new stuff this year for Christmas. Lots of new stuff. <laughs> I like the little kids' Christmas plates for a dollar. Okay, these little Melamac salad plates for a dollar. Great for putting cookies on and giving away. Look at the big Santa mug for two dollars. Bottoms up. Remember all those Werther's candies? You got any more left? <laughs> okay, or the Lint chocolate sticks that you had 50 cent coupons for if you got a lot of those. Yeah. Oh, we have another one. Let's see what's on this one single all the way oh my god single all the way so if you know a single person this might be a cute little mug for them <laughs> but yeah we've got lots of new things so oh and they have the big plate with the truck on it as well so yeah lots of awesome ways to give food as gifts keep that in mind this year okay if you're on a really strict budget I mean, everything will be appreciated from those who love you. Okay, just saying. So, I'll talk to you when we get out in the car and we see how much money I got left over. Okay, we're out in the car. Mm, you don't hear my happy voice. <laughs> because, well, things did not work out as planned. But, you know, that's DG for you sometimes now let's talk about my dog food deal my dog food cat food deal did turn out pretty much as anticipated uh, I did change up some things of course but in the end I ended up with a box of milk bone snacks with 75 cent off the bag of pedigree pedigree dog food for seven dollars and ten cent with the three dollar coupon and the bag of $16.70 cat food. And that's where I got most of my store discount. Okay. My $5 off. Now my out of pocket was $19. And my savings was $8.75. Now considering my cat food. Which I have to buy anyway. Was. Well all of this that's on here is would have been I have to buy anyway okay every single thing on here was all a necessity so in this instance there is nothing on here that I got just because I wanted to get my five off or because it was a good deal or cheap or it was a filler there is none of those things on here everything on here is stuff that I will use <clears throat> and do use every single week so I would have spent this full amount of 20 almost $30 okay now on this other receipt I got a loaf of bread now on the Kellogg's deal this is good information the Kellogg's crackers are not attaching to the instant savings 
It appears to only be attaching to things that are breakfast items and Pringles potato chips for some reason. It's not attaching to the Kellogg's flip side crackers. And since it's an instant savings, there's, you know, there's not a list that we can go by eligible products. So, you might want to revamp if you haven't done that yet or plan on doing it. So, what I ended up doing was taking off the Pop-Tarts, since I wasn't getting my instant savings anyway, I removed the Pop-Tarts. I also removed one 12-pack of the Diet Coke, because it seems they are not buy two, get one free this week. Um, my mistake. So, uh, that's going to be Walgreens, which I will probably have to make a trip there to get that. So, I just picked up two. And at this point, I was short a little bit for my 5 off of 25. So I reached behind and picked up a Nivea lip balm because we have a dollar coupon off. And it's $2. That still gave me $4 to go towards my entire transaction of my 5 off of 25. So right here is nine dollars in savings i paid it out of pocket of nineteen dollars and thirty cent i got six items well i got more than six because we count the individual diet cokes in this case which would be 24 okay 25 26 27 28 items is what i got for nineteen dollars and thirty cent of course that is more than worth it because we know the cans of Diet Coke sell in the stores be for between 80 and 90 cent, sometimes a dollar for each one. So, that's a good deal. Not the best, but pretty good. This one, again, all necessities and always necessities cost you more, just like food. So, if you save anything... Well, you're doing good. And that's how I feel about this. So, I've done a lot better before. Right now, I think that that's doing good. I've strayed within my budgeted threshold, um, which was $40 for the two transactions. Because, like I said, I knew that one of them was going to be high due to the amount of pet food uh, that was going to be involved. Now, my original idea, instead of using the Kellogg's, was to do the Marie Callender deal with the bird's eye vegetables, but their freezer was out and they did not have any. And again, this, I can hear it now, go to another store. Again, I'm on a very tight budget this week. That includes my gas. So, if you're this way, this is okay. Go get what you need and you can do so. We'll save more money next week. It just gives us something to look forward to. Okay, and that being said, I'm going to do a little preview of what's coming in the morning in your newspaper. So we're going to have a little preview of not only the DG sale, hopefully, for Sunday, but we're going to have a preview of what kind of paper coupons that we're getting in our insert so you'll know how many newspapers to pick up. Alrighty. So, blessings. We'll talk again real soon. Because I know you want to know that. <laughs>